The lesser stag beetle, or Dorcas parallelopipedus, is the species we're looking at for the 25th Creature Fridays video. This is the lesser stag beetle. Smaller but much more common than the famous stag beetle, the lesser stag beetle can be found throughout English and Welsh woodlands, parks and hedgerows during the summer. It's night time and these adults are in flight, on the hunt for mates. Rising from the ground is a large ash tree stump, its jagged top a sign that the tree was felled in a recent winter storm. A female lesser stag beetle isn't joining the others in flight, but is instead focused on the decaying stump. Her small size and all black wing cases make her easy to tell apart from the larger stag beetles that are also about tonight. She pays no attention to the activity going on around her. She is already mated and is now looking to lay her eggs. She must first prepare the stump by shredding bits of wood with her sharp mandibles, which are a specialised part of her mouth. Now that it's ready, she can lay a single egg here, content in the knowledge that once the egg hatches, the larvae will have plenty of easy to digest food surrounding it. Like many of its relatives, this lesser stag beetle larvae will develop within the ash stump, feasting on the rotting wood. Others will be feeding on common beech and apple tree stumps. The egg this larva came from was laid early in the season, so it'll only have to spend one winter in the wood before it's ready to pupate into an adult. Others laid later on will have to wait until their second summer. After spending a winter undisturbed within the stump, the larvae is ready to prepare its pupation chamber. It has shredded the wood around it into fine strips to create smooth surrounding walls. Here it can shed out of its skin into its pupa form, which it will stay in through the next winter. Finally, summer has come back around and the new adult lesser stag beetle is ready to emerge from the ash tree stump. This is a young male, an impressive individual with good genes passed down from his parents, but still only a small 3 centimetres in length compared to the famous 11 centimetre long stag beetle. It is possible to tell him apart from his mother by looking at the knobs on his mandibles and his broad head, but the differences between males and females aren't as obvious in the lesser stag beetles as they are in the stag beetles. While mating is his main goal, this male must also feed on tree sap to stay alive. He is nocturnal, so will spend most of the day sheltering under fallen bark or in tree crevices, but throughout the summer will emerge to eat and mate. When winter hits, he will hide under rotting wood and fall into torpor, which is a state of low activity that some species can enter to prevent them from using too much energy during colder times. Adults can live for up to two years, so if he does survive the winter, he will be able to mate for a second time and produce even more offspring before passing away. If you want to support me in continuing to create these free educational videos, then check out my new Patreon page. I have five different monthly support tiers to choose from, ranging from just £2 up to the higher tiers where you can vote for video topics, have your name credited at the end of each video, receive personalised art of any UK species, and get one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me on any nature-related topic of your choice. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.